Restaurant managers can achieve their goals by implementing effective strategies and hiring the right staff for their operations. These are the basic of restaurant management. Managing a restaurant involves many different duties and activities. Effective restaurant management strategies aim to meet customers' needs while maintaining efficient and sustainable operations. If you are new to the food industry, there are many things you will need to keep in mind before taking control of the wheels of a food operation. Restaurants are fast-paced environment where mistakes are often costly, so you will need to do your best to avoid being caught off guard by obstacles and challenges. Great management practice usually develop from experience. However, you can always speed up the process by learning about the restaurant's industry and all that managing a restaurant involves. Let's look at the basic of restaurant's management. Hi, my name is Massimo Montone. I am the founder of Restaurant Keys and creator of Restaurant's Launch Roadmap coaching program. We will take you through the seven fundamental stages, a step-by-step -step process that will help you clarify and create a perfect pre-opening plan. I am blessed to have been working for the last 20 years with some of the most influential people in the industry today. I've been able to crack what those seven stages are and what you must focus on. You'll find a link below for more information about that. But what does restaurant management include? When managing a restaurant, you will need to oversee the day-to-day -day operations as well as look after the establishment long-term well-being. To do this effectively, managers will need to stay on the top of the following activities. Setting and meeting the restaurant's goals. Understanding the business finance and planning. Also, planning those strategies hiring, training and allocating restaurant staff and following the right approaches to marketing and promotions. So, let's look at the setting and meeting goals. Restaurant owners often task managers with meeting goals, such as generating a certain amount of revenue or profit within a specific amount of time. Following this, managers can revise their strategies to meet their intended goal. Alternatively, restaurant managers can set their own goals related to customer service, food quality, marketing, finance and employee productivity. Setting the right goals involves a good understanding of the company's values, as your goals should align with the customers and staff from the establishment. For example, if your restaurant prides itself on offering healthy food options, your future strategy should aim to provide customers with an even greater variety of natural and nutrition menu items. But now, let's look at uh, understanding restaurant finances. You can create a future strategy for your restaurants without a firm understanding of its finances. When you first take control of the establishment, you will need to monitor its cash flow, determine how much cash is coming in and how much is leaving on a daily, weekly, and mostly basis. This will also allow you to identify areas in which cost can be cut, and often areas where you may be able to spend more. This process could be as simple as swip, swapping the restaurant's light bulbs for more energy efficient ones to lower the electricity bill. Good restaurant managers cut costs by monitoring the, the business performance and employee requirements and adjusting the schedule to ensure that excess labor isn't present when isn't required. Moving on to the hiring and training of the staff. Hiring the right staff is crucial when you are managing a restaurant successfully. You should ensure that each new employee understands the standard and value of your establishment. If nothing else, those employees should have a positive attitude and an intent to learn. Managers should also be able to identify the strength and weakness of each staff member so that they can be allocated to the right position. Someone who has experienced prepping ingredients in a line cook position may not fit well in a customer service oriented role. Especially someone with serving experience may not be very efficient at food preparation. 
Training staff is also crucial, as it brings them up to speed with how operations are run. Managers should create a standard procedure for training employees so that each one is on the same page. A good strategy is to ask existing employee to train a new employee and teach them the ropes of the operations, with the manager offering a helping hand now and then. It can be tempting to assume that employees with previous restaurant experience will pick up without training. However, this runs the risk of new staff performing activities in a manner that interferes with the duties of existing staff. Restaurants can be a stressful environment, and dealing with a conflict between employees can be especially problematic in a time-crucial situation. Managers can avoid such a situation by clearly defining the role of each employee and explaining what duties each one is responsible for. Management should also be approachable so that employees feel comfortable going to them for advice regarding problems before they impact operations. And finally, we move on to marketing and promotions. Small restaurants rarely have the marketing teams that uh, organizations in other industries possess. This places more responsibility on the manager, as marketing and promotion should never be neglected. However, your marketing efforts should be steered towards building sales and meeting goals. For these reasons, creating a good marketing plan is vital. Some common mistakes marketing goals include increasing sales by a certain date, pulling in more customers at a particular time of the day, becoming more widely known in your area. You should also have a good understanding of your restaurant's target audience. Those are the people who are most likely to visit your restaurants regularly. It may be helpful for you to create a buyer persona that helps you visualize the ideal customers. This will enable you to come up with the strategies for marketing to them. Managers should also ideally work with marketers to create and execute effective marketing strategies. The result of those plans should be closely monitored for the purpose of fine-tuning their marketing approach. This is an important step, as implementing the wrong type of plan or marketing to the incorrect audience could waste valuable capital. Profit margins are already slim in the restaurants industry, so managers need to ensure that the limited resources they have are used wisely. As you can see, the average restaurant manager has many different duties to oversee. To succeed your restaurant's hiring and a well-managed unique to teach tasks, Working in the food industry is a unique experience that catches many new managers off guard. However, with enough time and effort, you should be able to get the hang of things. The key is to learn from your mistakes and maintain a positive attitude. Your staff and operations will depend on you, so you need to be reliable to those situations. So to learn more about everything and anything that has to do with the restaurants industry, check out our blog with the link below. You'll find various restaurants trade secrets and you can seek professional assistance from one of our experienced restaurants consultants. And for now, stay safe, be happy and make a difference.